Hello, everybody, and welcome to some more Haveriff, the hardcore vintage graph resource thing. <laughs> uh, we're having a bit of a chilled one to start with in this episode. Um, a lot different than it was at the end of the last one, where we were, well, scared in the never, as we say, put it lightly. <laughs> uh, we're going to work on tiers two and hopefully three today um, of the One Life Challenge, and that involves a bit of AFK on my part. Uh, so this farm is by Avromance, I think his name was. The link will be in the description. It's explained very easily how the farm is made and how it works. But yeah, essentially, you just need to locate where turtles lay their eggs. Uh, their home beach, I think it's called. Because what I did is lured a couple of turtles to my mushroom island. Try to get them to breed, then they were having none of it. Uh, yeah, so the turtles uh, will hatch after, I think, two or three nights. Uh, hence why I'm AFK inside a... A, um, a, a more proof building <laughs> so I think you need like the moonlight to actually get them to hatch something like that anyway uh, and when they grow up then they'll drop some scoots and we need five scoots for a turtle helmet and that's one of the things that we're starting with today uh, we're going to go on a bit of adventure and get some flowers we're also going to try and get all the bits for dyes which again we can get those from flowers um, we might go into never a little bit later it depends how far I get with, with these little bits here um, as you can see, the little tiny turtles there are adorable. Um, don't worry, they won't die or anything. They'll just grow up and drop their scoots so we can get a nice helmet. On our way back, we went via a flower forest. And I managed to get uh, almost all of them from this bit. Uh, we need, I think it's 16 types. There's, uh, there's 17 in total, but we don't count the wither, uh, the wither rose. Or at least it isn't on this, uh, uh, this, uh, this, this tier. Um, I think with Rose might be further down, but um, as it stands, we only need 16. Uh, and all of them were here apart from, uh, I think it's the Azur, no, the Azur, the Blue Orchid. That's it, Blue Orchid. Blue Orchid's found in a swamp. Um, so we've got everything else apart from that, uh, which we'll have to get back to later. Whilst I was uh, on my way back, I thought, well, let's chance it. Try and get an Emerald Ore, and we dug down to Y32, and I think it's below that. Come across a mine shaft which actually had three in it. So I've got one there, got one there, and there's one just around the corner. And then finally we managed to find a swamp on the way back and got our uh, orchids. Uh, it probably wasn't the best idea to try doing this at night because it's full of bad things. Uh, but full of bad things is kind of what I wanted from the swamp because there's a chance that there'd be a witch, right? I'm not too sure they spawn naturally around uh, swamps or if it's just if there's a witch hut. Uh, but fortunately, there was ran, <laughs> there was one around the corner, and we ran it round in circles trying to get a, um, trying to get it uh, in the water. So I mean, they they hit quite hard. Well, they hit hard. They throw poison potions, which can uh, get you down to like half a heart. So yeah, we got her in the water and managed to run around. And you can see it's slightly in slow motion for some reason. But there we are. There's the coin. That's all yours. She managed to get me the poison. Uh, and I got down to half a heart, but we're in the middle of the ocean, managed to heal up and make our way home. So with all that done, we dived into Never and started to trade. Now we want a few things for these piglins. Well, first of all, uh, trading with a piglin is a challenge. Uh, as is killing one, but I'm not going to do it when there's uh, a few of them together. We want um, fire resistance, if possible. Um, we can always make it stronger or... Do we need to spank it splash? I don't think so. Uh, either way, we want to be fire protected so we can go in, back into that never fortress and try and get like blaze rods. Um, hopefully, some magna creams for more uh, fire resistance and wither skulls. I mean, the wither skulls will need we need three of them. We're gonna probably just use some milk and do it safe way that way. Um, but as you can see, they're giving us a few little bits so far some obsidian and quite obsidian. Uh, but yeah, I need to do a bit more training. I think we can get ender pulses away as well. Um, well, it's sold speed free. Eh, not too bad, but I'm not going to take off these boots because uh, they'll be like, why aren't you wearing gold? You're not one of us. And then they'll try and kill me. And yeah, so I'm going to trade up with these guys for a little bit. Um, yeah, and try and get all the things we need. We're just about running out of our gold, but you can see we've got some uh, some random bits of some quartz, uh, some gravel. I don't know why. Uh, we got a few potions, so we're safe to sort of Traverse the area a little bit more. Oh, some pearls. Um, that will help. That's actually a challenge itself as well. Um, but that will help us maybe get another ender chest. Or actually, maybe we should probably save them uh, for the dragon fight. 
Uh, today is the last day uh, of the month, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just going to try and speed through these tiers and get them done. I don't think we'll complete the whole challenge because, like I say, it's the last day and the server will close soon. But uh, we can do as much as we can. So now we've got some fire resistance potions. We're back in the fortress. i uh, got some protections up just in case, you know, river skeletons come along. But uh, we're back at the little spawner thing. Um, so yeah, put on the fire resistance. I'm not too sure how much damage it actually does. Um, I always thought that once you're in the nether and you're on fire, that you know that's it. You're 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 gone for. Um, where are these guys? Hello. Um, maybe that's just lava actually, and blazes don't hit hard at all. And I've just gone this like just really sort of sensible, safe, secure way. Um, see, why are you have from hitting me? But um, yeah, I don't think it's anything that much damage at all, is it? Um, we need blaze rods um, for brewing. So we need to make um, a regeneration potion, uh, which involves killing a ghast and getting this tier. I think I've got a couple of them already. Um, I know we got the head, but did I get a re? Did I get a a thingy, a tier? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's always good to have blaze rods though, because that's also potion of strength. And if we want to try and take on something ridiculous like uh, the dragon or the wither, you know, if we get there, then. We're going to want some strength because it makes things a whole much easier. Um, again, it's something I might just throw in the ender chest. Actually making uh, ender pearls. Not ender pearls. Eyes of ender. For the portal if it's not already been done. And uh, be useful. Uh, not only for finding them, but for opening it up. But um, yeah, I've got loot free on the sword. So we're going to try and get some withers actually. Um... I don't know how successful we're going to be, but we got a, we got a fair bit of stuff. Got some nice arrows. Uh, we can take them out from a distance. Does the offhand thing work? Um, where you put your sword, your looting sword in your offhand, and then like kill with a bow or something. Does it take that into consideration when, you know, the looting aspect of it? Um, I'm not sure it does. Um, it's one for the nerds to work out, right? <laughs> Always, I've been told it's true, but then it could just could be, you know, coincidence. Right, where are some weather skeletons? Anyone nearby? I can hear it. Somewhere. Hello? This is my little poke hole. I was trying to um, get blazes safely. I've right, got some crossroads. There we are. got some crossroads outside. They always spawn around here. So yeah, let's try it on the offhand and see if it does anything. Oh, some more over there. That's always good. Um... What's the range of the detection? Because I've got one over there as well. Come on. Come close. Nothing. Nothing. Actually, my bow's not too bad. What have we got? Coal and bones? Nothing. Nothing's fine. Oh, see. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> they spawn back there. And have I got... got? Half a heart. Half a heart was all that was taken. My fire resistance ran out, and that's all that was taken. Let's get another hot bar. Just in case we form the lava or something ridiculous like that. Who's firing at me? Oh, he's gone and hidden. Gone and hidden straight away. Might kill that pig man. I don't think he's going to do anything. No? Bones and XP? I suppose we can XP this way. But, um. I really want a skull. I want a skull, please. Skull? Nothing. There's one down there. Oh, there's a couple down there. Let's take some pot chops at home. Um, yeah, I mean, with a skeleton or with a head farming has always been uh, a pain in the backside. I guess we're on spectral hours now. Um, always been a pain, even with like looting free and uh, like an I. What you need to do is make a with a farm. Um, I don't know how. I've seen <laughs> I've seen a few things on VC, which makes it easy because we can just sort of you know hide at a killing chamber. I think Evo made one, but I don't know how he done it inside now. Nope, come it. That's it. See, these guys trap me fine. They trap me. Okay. Come on. Nothing. You. We're going to get shot at, aren't we? Oh, it's fine. We've got fire on. Fire protect. Um, we should have just gone there right. Didn't I? Come chase me. Come chase me. Oh, what are you doing there? Come chase me. Fight. I'm impervious to fire now for some reason. Um, we need to find some magma cubes and make our own potions, I think. 
These won't last too long. Uh, I guess I'm going to hang around for a little bit. Try and kill a few more withers and see if we get any skulls. Okay, so let's finish off tier two, shall we? So we've traded with a village already. Uh, place a cobweb. Now I've got some from that mine shaft earlier. I'll put one above my ninja chest. You'll see that in a minute. Why the pig? Already done that. That's also fine as well. Coffee here, tea helmet. Well, I haven't done it on camera, but um, I got the scoots. And again, I'll show you in a second. That'll be absolutely fine. Um, acquire an ender pearl. Got an ender pearl. Toss a gold nugget to a uh, witch. We've done that. And kill a phantom, which is what we're currently working on here. Uh, I took the the safe approach, as you can see here, hiding in my little house and waiting for him to come down at me. Makes things much easier, right? Um, I had to do it on the top floor because I was doing it on the bottom, uh, out just out by my doorway, but they got close to my cat, and every time I got close, I got scared off and ran away. Hence, I'm going to hold through upstairs and uh, enticing them to come up here instead. Uh, we're also going to try and work out uh, tier 3, so gather one of every flower in the game. Now we've done that now, we're going to place it in our little garden behind where the acacia tree is. Um, every die in the game is the next one. Uh, we've got some cactus which is on that uh, sandy bit, not here, but it is now. <laughs> um, so that should be the dies, but um, I'll put them in a box and we'll show them uh, before we do anything. Make an ender chest, done that really. Uh, we need that to sort of uh, make sure we keep all our goods. Uh, fetch a gas here, done that. A uh, blaze rod, we've done that. Uh, we do some brewing. Return to the done that. Got the emerald ore, we've done that. Um, subspace bubble, that'll be easy to do if we get back to spawn. Uh, and place a sign on the mushroom island with a name on it. Uh, let's do that now, actually. There we are. I never actually planned this. Um, <laughs> uh, it was like one small task. We could have found a mushroom island easily. Um, but that setup here was all part of a bigger plan. Anyway, let's get a few things sorted. So, we need uh, to make a terrible helmet. And there it is there. Terrible helmet acquired. Is it better than this? No, but we're going to wear it. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got all 16 flowers. Here they are. Count them all, 16. Uh, haven't got the river rose, but that makes sense. Uh, we need to... Uh, oh, yeah. Potions to regen. They're done. Uh, as you can see, my inventory is full up of like dyes and stuff. Um, but yeah, there's all 16 of those there as well. So that's done. Um, what else do we need to do? We needed to... That was it, I think. Oh, no, no. Uh, so uh, create an iron golem. And then kill an iron golem. <laughs> and also blow up TNT. So let's combine these two efforts together. And... Uh, yeah, just like that. That'll do. We've also got our cobweb up in the corner. As I said beforehand, it's night time, so let's quickly sleep. Uh, we designed a, uh, a banner in a loom. Um, no, I've never done it before, but um, I dropped crap on the floor. Lovely. Um, I have got... Where is it? Where did I hide you? In one of these cupboards? There, there it is. Um, do I have some paper? Uh, in our enchanting area? Paper. Now, I think, is this what it's referring to? A banner pattern, right? Because we could have used up uh, a wither skull, or a notch apple, or a creeper head, or a snout, <laughs> or whatever it is. But uh, might as well just use a daisy, right? Um, so you just pop that in there, a banner and some ink, what colour should we go for, um, what colour should our banner be, let's get some, you got any string, I don't actually have any sheep here so I've been, uh, like with the cobwebs, I've been combining them together like this, and with a stick, we've got a stick, we've got one stick, perfect, look at that. And we don't have to make it like this, please. Put you down there, there. Uh, I guess we're going to go red. Because we had some poppies on us, which I think is what I threw on the floor earlier. Uh, but there we are. So, I think to design a loom. A design a loom? No, let's use a loom to design a banner pattern. Uh, we just pop that in there. Uh, our colour. So, we, well, this is counted just doing like one of these, for instance. Like, you know, or we'll, we'll do that. That looks better, right? 
And if we throw that on our uh, shield. How cool do we look? Do we look cool? That turtle helmet comes down a little bit further than I thought. It's like right above my eyes. Yeah? That's the flower banner, is it? That's the upside daisy. Fair enough. I think that's all of it, apart from... Oh no, we need to um, kill a piglin and get subspace bubble. Um, I think we might... Oh, it's tight. It's tight. Let's uh, get some of those... Uh, I forgot any of those. No, where did I put them? I made a few of these uh, fire resistance. We're going to tunnel towards um, zero, zero. And that might be enough. Let's uh, let's find out, shall we? I think we found civilization. <laughs> um, I started tunneling, and I found like someone's horizontal, not horizontal, diagonal tunnel. And it's at us here, which seems quite recognisable, actually. Is this spawn? Uh, no. No, it's not. How far away? We're still a thousand blocks away. Oh no, does that mean it's ruined it? I think it does. I mean, in my mind, my mushroom island is, uh, you know, 500, f uh, 7,000 blocks away from spawn. So I get back to spawn. Then, in my mind, even though we might not get the advancement, it counts. Right? Let's go for that. But where is... Over there somewhere. Where is where we first come in? Do we remember where we first come in? It's not up there, is it? No, no, no. It, actually, it might be. It might very well be. This is it. This is spawn. This is where we started. Where's all the trees gone? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, it's night time. Uh, but yeah, we're back at the hub. That means we can go back home with all our fun stuff. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. That is tiers two and three done. I'm um, saying I count that subspace bubble. Say that again. I count that subspace bubble. Because um, <laughs> it's, you know, I'm much more than 7,000 blocks away. So, I mean... I might have to head back there now just to prove a point. But um, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Actually, we can't really end it there because uh, it's the last day. Last day the server's open. Um, yeah, today is March 31st, so the resource world gets reset tomorrow. Uh, anyway, I've been asking the Discord um, for a few weeks now uh, about the end of Dragon Fight. Uh, basically, we put down to a vote. And we decided that um, rather than people sort of rushing in to kill the Ender Dragon on day one, you know, as people usually do in the resource world, you know, you can only get the Dragon Egg once. Uh, we voted so that um, it could be left as like a final fight or um, like a big fight for everyone partaking in the hardcore event to uh, try and do together. Um, like I say, I've been trying to get that sorted out for a couple of weeks now. Uh, no one's really responded, which is a bit of a disappointment. Um, but it could mean that they've all sort of died off really, really early. Um, I would say 95% of the time that I've been on the server, I have been the only one. Again, it's a shame, but uh, hey, I thought why not, why not give it a go. So um, I went and did a bit more training with the uh, piglins to get a load of spectral arrows. Um, this is an easy way to get arrows. And uh, someone had found the stronghold, so I decided to um, follow the directions to it. And as you can see there, there was one uh, iron are missing. Again, a bit more trading, a bit more blaze killing. Um, we had uh, spare ones just in case, like, we needed all 12.
Um, so yeah, we're in here fighting the dragon, and as you can probably see in the corner there, I'm getting uh, beaten up by Enderman. Um, I should have probably worn a pumpkin head, or um, brought some blocks along to make go, you know, go into a little hidey space. Um, it was a bit annoying with the shulkers there. Um, we got a little plug in so that shulkers spawn uh, throughout the end rather than just at the cities. Uh, but yeah, this is the first time I've actually tackled the dragon on my own. Uh, so it's a bit scary, and I don't think I've got my tactics too right, because as you can see, she's healing there. Um, I'm just sort of trying to take pop shots at her whilst uh, trying to stay alive. But it's, uh, it's not working out too well. She has flung me in the air a few times, but I brought some pose with me so I could just fire that straight at the ground so I don't take like massive fall damage. I uh, brought my golden apples. I brought some potions, but... Uh, I guess in hindsight, I should have used them a little bit more. Spoiler for the end, but um, yeah, I didn't do too well, unfortunately. But uh, as a whole, I feel like we did pretty well on the series. Uh, we've done the first three tiers of One Life, uh, essentially on our own. Uh, the first episode, I you know, clickbaitedly, is that a word? Clickbaitedly? Yeah, it is now. Uh, called it 100 Days in Minecraft, um, and it was... I did, did have a look at the stats before I went in here, and it was 2.03 days. Uh, which works out, I'll put it on the screen, um, but I think it's like 140-ish days in Minecraft in total that I played on the resource world. Uh, most of that was like sort of strip mining and like uh, making my moose from island safe. Uh, but I had a laugh actually, I did a, fa did a fair amount of challenges, got a few things. I'm glad I got an ender chest and put some stuff away. Um, this is a view of everything I've got in my ender chest, so that'll go back to the main world. Um, nice lot of uh, ancient debris there, as you can see. But we've got a notch apple, we've got a commemorative uh, turtle helmet. We've got the map, but unfortunately I didn't save it with... Um, but you can do it with... Is it like a piece of glass or something? Uh, you can set the map so it doesn't ever change. Because now I'm back in the main world. Uh, it's like taking a map of those locations in the main world. Which is just different really. Because um, I've basically got all my redstone down. Uh, and spell the word have out. I wanted to have it as a little commemorative piece, but yeah, I messed up. But um, there we are. Um, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the staff for this event. Uh, I know it might be difficult trying to get interest in the server. And that sort of... Uh, it started off... I mean, I've said it many times before. Um, it started off with, like, Vintage Beef playing a lot on the server. And I think that, in my personal view, that attracted people to play on it. Um, and now he doesn't have time for it as much anymore. That's where it sort of dies off. I mean, that with a mixture of things, I guess, I guess I've, over the last sort of three years, there's been like major updates. Like we've got 117 coming soon, which is the Caves, Caves? <laughs> Caves and Cliffs one. And that's going to drastically change how World Regen works. So people will probably be asking for a reset soon. Um, and you know, the one before that, the Never update, and even like to extend the Aquatic update before that. All these updates come out quite quickly. Um, so people sort of get bored and they want the new thing rather than what they've currently got. Um, that's just my take on it anyway. Um, so for this event, uh, for me, was a nice chance to uh, try again on the One Life Challenges. Like I say, a huge shout out to staff because it can't be easy pleasing everyone. Um, yeah, uh, I say I had a good time and I hope to look forward to the next one. Uh, in terms of reset, um, I'm up for whatever. I've got um, a bit of a castle to finish off, as you probably know if you've watched the uh, the main series. Uh, so that's going to be my um, go-to thing over the next couple of months, try and get that sorted out if I can. Um, also, on the subject of hardcore, uh, if you follow me or watch these videos, I do have an ultra, not an ultra hardcore, well yeah, an ultra hardcore series. Um, got a few more coming out in the next sort of weeks or two, so keep an eye on that. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it for the moment. I'm, as you can see, struggling to survive, getting chased by shulkers. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of the end crystals still there. I'm quite surprised that no one actually rusted the dragon, but uh, you know, it is one of those things. Because um, I would have had to make uh, some more end crystals, which I think take a ghast here. So I've never really respawned, I don't think I've respawned the dragon before, and if I have, someone else has done it for me. Um, so I might head to the resource world in April and see if I can rush the dragon myself um, with all my decent gear. Like I think I had like power, 
three or something here on the bow and sharp two on the sword. So not ideal to fight a dragon. Um, but yeah, we'll try again another day. So that's the end of this episode and the end of this series. This has been Haveref, the hardcore vintage graph resource thing. <laughs> One Life 2 Challenge Edition. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.